In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use writing sprints and how to keep track of them in a tracker. So this is a really simple spreadsheet that I keep on Google. I've just kind of cut and paste, pasted from my bigger spreadsheet. I am keeping track of a number of different things here. So I already know that my best time of the day to write is in the morning. So I'm not including a category here for time of day, but if you're looking to capture when is the best time for you to write in these 10, 20, 30, 45, 60 minute sprints, you can include a column for that. So I've got the date. I also have the minutes that I spent writing and you'll see a lot of mine are shorter. It's for whatever reason, easier for me to do two or three different smaller sprints and focus on that rather than longer periods. So I will also keep the um, name of the project that I'm working on. And then um, I, at the end of my time period of writing, whatever it is, I will keep track of how many words I added. So usually if I'm working in part of a bigger Google Doc, I'll leave a comment when I start and then I'll just, you know, subtract that from the number that I have at the end of the writing sprint. And then over here is where I am calculating how many that would be per hour. So for me, it might be really hard for me to actually get close to 5,000 words per hour if I sat for a really focused hour, but um, I could do that, you know, if I were able to keep up with this pace of the 884 words I came up with during 10, uh, a 10 minute writing sprint. Now you'll also see I keep in here when I'm recording, so when I'm actually using my voice as opposed to physically typing things out, you'll see that my speed is, of course, much faster there. However, it's not always easy to record yourself. As I've talked about previously in this course, not all of the projects that I'm working on will be appropriate for recording, but I do like to make a note of that in my tracker. Um, so simply to get this number, you know, you're just going to figure out how many of the different writing sprint sections would be within an hour. And then I, I just multiply that so that, you know, there would be six 10 minute periods within one hour. So if I kept up at this pace, I'd hit 4,000, right? So this is going to be your tool for testing, which writing sprints work for you. How long should you do it? Where should you do it? What time of day was most effective? What were the conditions that led you to get, um, the fastest amounts, you know, were there days where you were slower? Yes. Obviously here I only was at the pace to complete about 2,300 words per hour. So you can make note of conditions and things like that as well. But this is one of my favorite tools because it's hard data, right? It's numbers we can go back to and figure out what works best. And that's why I know that my best time to write is in the morning, that only certain projects work well for me to record my voice instead of actually typing. And also, um, you know, when is a when and how and where to actually do my writing sprints to be as focused as possible for me. So for me, that looks like smaller, shorter writing sprints of 30 minutes or